Hello, and welcome to ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. This episode, I'm going to show you what diodes are, how they work, and how to test them. Diodes are pretty much like a check valve. They will only allow current to flow in one direction only. So, what you want to do is, you can take a diode here, they come in different shapes and sizes. This is a high wattage, high current diode. This one, oh, me another one here. We'll worry about that later. And you also get these small ones. They can hold very little current. Now, as you can notice, get a little pin here. You see a black or a gray marking on one side. This automatically marks the cathode or the output of the diode. The opposite side is the anode. This is where the voltage goes in or the current goes in. The numbers can be looked up on the internet to tell you exactly the voltage rating and the peak inverse rating and the current rating. As you can see, there's a big difference between the two. This one here is probably about a 50 amp diode and this one here is about a 1 amp diode. The peak inverse is the most important part. Peak inverse is the check valve feature. What it does is Let's say that this diode is a 50 volt peak inverse. What it means is when you hook up the polarity backwards, as long as the voltage doesn't go above 50 volts, the diode will not conduct in the wrong direction. If it happens to conduct in the wrong direction, it can severely damage the diode. Now, you also do not want to exceed the current rating, and you do not want to exceed the voltage rating. Now, to test these, I'm going to show you what to do. I got a test meter here that I used in a previous video. What I need to do is turn the thing down to diode setting, which is identified by that marking an arrow with a line through it in front of it. This will measure diodes. Silicone diodes requires at least 0.6 volts to conduct, which is called a voltage drop because it requires 6 tenths of a volt in order for the valve to open and it starts conducting. It's called the forward voltage. The geraniums, which are usually used in signaling, they're about 0.5. Well, to test these, to make sure they're working properly, use the test meter. An ohm meter will also do the same thing. As long as it conducts in the proper direction, the ohm meter will indicate that. I've got my test on the diode. These do not matter how you hook them up, but as long as they'll connect in one direction, you'll know that, that it's good. So, I'm going to hook one side. Then, I'm going to hook the other side. Now, the diode testing shows that it only requires three thousandths of a volt to conduct. Now let's check to see oh, crap. Well, it also says three thousandths of a volt. So this diode is shot, it means it's no good. I'm going to have to bust WizKids bubble. 
Gonna bust my bubble. Cause you put it in there. <laughs> Didn't know it. <laughs> and it's a proven guilty. Well, let's test this one. In other words, a dial will conduct in one way only. Right. A dial will only, it's like a check valve. It only allows flow of current in one direction only. Well, this one here is shot because it's shorted. It should require at least five tenths of a volt to conduct. Well, this one here is three thousandths of a volt. So, it sh chances are it was shorted and the test proved that this diode was shorted. Now, let's test this one. Well, we're not getting anything, so apparently the check valve part is working. Let's reverse the polarity. Now, as you indicate here, you can see it says... 5.548 volts. That means it's conducting in one direction only. This is the voltage that it's required to measure the voltage. Now as for the voltage drop, I'm going to show you now what I mean by that. We know that it requires 5.49 volts to conduct. So what does that really do to your voltage? Okay, now I'm going to test the voltage coming out of the power supply. The power supply is putting out 14.34 volts. Now, when the, it goes through the diode, remember, it, there's a voltage drop. So, as it goes through the diode, it's dropped it down to 14 volts even. That's what that mean by the voltage drop. It took three tenths of a volt to make it conduct. So now it's down to 14 volts even. When you replace these diodes, you want to make sure that you get them back in the circuit board the same way that they came out. You want to make sure that they're the same ratings, same peak and peak. Uh, peak inverse voltage rating and then the amperage and the voltage and be sure you insert them the correct way when you replace them all you have to do is look up the numbers on the diode you can go on the internet find out what it is order your replacement if necessary well that's all there is about testing a diode to see if it's shorted if it's not conducting it won't make any measurements now, you can use an ohm meter to do the same exact thing. It has to be conducting in one direction only. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the episode. Thank you for watching.